New concerns tonight about moves towards what some call a North American Union. A number of high-level government meetings are taking place in Mexico to discuss North American integration of Mexico, the United States, and Canada. More meetings are scheduled. It is an aggressive agenda proposed at the highest levels of our government and U.S. commerce without congressional or voter oversight. Lisa Sylvester reports. A caravan of cars travels along the Arizona desert. Homeland Security Secretary Michael Chertoff was visiting the U.S.-Mexican border. Last week, he was in Mexico City. Commerce Secretary Carlos Gutierrez visited Mexico February 1st. Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez, January 11th. And President Bush himself will travel there next month. The high-level meetings are to advance North American integration, also known as the Security Prosperity Partnership. There are several ways it could go. One is modeled after the EU. One is modeled after sort of the, uh, an economic community. It's beyond the scope of, of just a trade, free trade zone, which we fairly well have already with those two countries. This partnership is being driven by the U.S. business community, which envisions ships from China docking in Mexico instead of California. Mexican truck drivers transporting cargo on a NAFTA superhighway all the way to Canada. A cornerstone of this model is a guest worker immigration program that relaxes U.S. borders. Critics say the plan would greatly benefit Mexico, but could mean the loss of American jobs and an increase in social costs to U.S. taxpayers. The reality is that last year they came close to passing a bill which would have allowed uh, close to 100 million immigrants into the country, most of them low-skilled over the next 20 years. That will, in fact, bankrupt the United States. Those concerned with integrating the economies point to the disparities. The U.S. GDP per capita is $43,500. $500. Canada, $35,200. Mexico, only $10,600. The average adult in the United States has 12 years of education. In Canada, 11 and a half years. Mexico, only a little over seven years of schooling. And this Friday, another round of top-level meetings in Canada. Secretary Michael Chertoff, Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice, and Commerce Secretary Carlos Gutierrez will be meeting with their Canadian and Mexican counterparts. Now, the press releases say the focus will be on providing for the free flow of trade, helping secure borders and keeping the U.S. competitive. But, Lou, really what they're talking about is this new economic integration. Lou? And uh, Congress is sitting uh, basically on its hands, saying nothing. Uh, uh, hearing nothing, apparently, as we continue to report on this outright uh, outrageous conduct. And it is even possible that Congress may not even have a say. What we are hearing is that the Bush administration is trying to use NAFTA as the justification for doing a lot of this, Lou. This is an arrogance uh, and abuse of power that, uh, that, frankly, this administration is laying a claim on uh, for the history books uh, to be written for years to come. Uh, it, it's extraordinary. Uh, if you want to, we should let our viewers know, Lisa, that if they want to write their congressmen or their senators, they can go to our website, LouDobbs.com, and there select your uh, congressional district uh, and whoever is representing you and your family uh, or your senator or both, and uh, you can send an email there uh, with your thoughts on this. Uh, this is outrageous. Uh, Lisa, thank you very much for keeping us up to date. Lisa Sylvester from Washington. Texas school districts are recruiting bilingual teachers from Mexico. More than 700,000 students in the state of uh, Texas have what are called limited English skills. School systems there say they can't find teachers with the necessary language skills locally to teach bilingually. And at a recent recruiting fair in Monterrey, Mexico, 162 applicants were hired in Mexico by more than 20 Texas school districts.